At 0123 on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy. The survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012. A stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of the wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektarev, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks' worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. Hey, bro. I'm listening.
Спасибо. Эй, Стака. Товарищ. А у вас, кроме водки, ничего нет? So, you got anything new? I've asked everywhere, but it's useless. Nobody knows the thing. It's like he's a pauper guy to stop him. That son of a bitch is going to regret running away. Hang in there, buddy. The doc said you'll be up in your feet in a couple of days. You might as well use this time to rest up and chill. Hey, stalker! Come here! I got a question for you! That's right. Get off I'll be. Here. Listen up. So, Sol you managed to drag your ass all... Drop by sometime. Uh, we'll have a good Hello. Time. What brings you to our humble vessel? in if you find any artifacts and we'll see what we can do. Give it to him good. What's going on? Take a chill pill, man. We'll take them easy. Ну что, подождем еще для гарантии. Все, мужики, отбой. Мы хабара, никакого приварка. We got the bastards. Hey, bro. 